This is Asan from Adreef and in today's video we're going to discuss why I switched from Adobe Premiere to Final Cut Pro and I'm going to share six reasons that why you should make the switch today. So in the past couple of years since I started my YouTube channel, I have been mainly focused on editing my videos through Adobe Premiere. But recently I decided to make the switch to Final Cut Pro. One of the first things that I found out after I made the switch was the editing process and how seamless I could scroll through my 4K footage without any problem knowing that the Final Cut Pro can handle my footage without needing to run proxies even letting the file render versus when I used my Adobe Premiere even though I had a really beefy computer I still struggle with render time and with just going through my footage it would just make editing a chore rather than something that I can have fun with and I can enjoy the process. And now that I have been using Final Cut Pro, I can edit my footage off of my external SSD card that I have without any problem. Number two reason that I really like Final Cut Pro over Adobe Premiere is how it's not draining my battery. Now I'm editing on my laptop, the new MacBook 16 inch that I got and the program is not really processed or GPU heavy, so it doesn't drain my battery. Before when I was using Adobe Premiere and I was editing off of my MacBook, after like 20 or 30 minutes, my battery will be 50% out and within an hour it will be completely gone and I had to plug it in. Me, when I go to work or when I go to school and I have my laptop with me, I was very limited on the things that I can do and usually I had to postpone my work to later when I come home and I have access to outlet so I can sit down properly and do my editing. But now when I travel, when I'm on the plane, I can just simply take out my laptop, start editing knowing that I'm gonna have enough battery enough juice to edit my entire video and do some research for my blog post number three and this is really important for me is motion title and the ability to use motion title within the Final Cut Pro's actual ecosystem before when I was using Adobe Premiere it was really hard to make those motion title to make those lower thirds or even a simple intro and I had to use applications such as after effect and use Adobe link to connect them all together and it was such a hassle it used to take so much time to mix something in after effect let it render and process and then export it and then download it and then use the link to connect it to my premiere such a hassle but now from places like video hub i can easily get a lot of motion effects a lot of lower thirds and everything that i need and just edit them right inside of the application seamlessly while I'm using 4k footage and run through it without the computer just ex exploding from the heavy processor work or the heavy GPU work and it just works really really easy. Number four is magnetic timeline and when I first made the switch to Final Cut Pro I didn't realize how good it is and I didn't really trust it but when I used Adobe Premiere and I had all my clips in there and let's say I wanted to make an adjustment, little tiny adjustment, actually about a second adjustment, I had to stop what I was doing, go back through the entire footage, make sure everything gets a new place, everything falls into a new order and then do the adjustment. But with Final Cut Pro, when I have my clip and I want to add a little small clip intro or title or even something simple as just transitions, I could just drop it in and it will magnetically stretch my... Uh, the whole clip and it will all fit in my storyline without any problem. Number five is the import and the export tool. And it is so easy with Final Cut Pro to import your footage inside of your actual program that you are using. Before when I was using Adobe Premiere, I had all my footage in the bottom left side. I didn't know what they are. I couldn't scroll through them. I couldn't see what I'm using. I had to sometimes guess what I was importing or take a lot of time. And when I'm importing, name everything, tag everything. And me as a YouTuber, I really didn't have that much time between school, work, editing, make making video, 
just working on my block, it would just take so much time and I just simply drop everything inside of my Adobe Premiere and I'm hoping that I can remember what was what and then putting it back in in an order that was just absolutely based on random selection and just see what I'm coming up with. But the Final Cut Pro, it is really easy to get everything and get the things that I need, see what they are, and decide what I wanna use and how much of it I wanna use. And that just made life so much easier for me. And finally, number six is the render process. Now, in order to render and export my video out of Final Cut Pro, before when I was using my Adobe Premiere, it would take five to six hours to render and export the footage. But now that I'm using Final Cut Pro, it is rendering as I'm editing. And sometimes my editing process takes between one to two hours, sometimes more, three to four hours, depending on what footage I wanna use, how I wanna beautify it. And um, with Adobe Premiere, as I'm editing, nothing is happening and I'm only doing one thing at a time. But with Final Cut Pro, as I'm making those adjustments, it is rendering on the background. And when it's time for export, that now this, you might think that I'm over exaggerating, but seriously, a five hour video that would take to be rendered from Adobe Premiere takes now I'm using the same camera, same audio system, same thing. It takes about five to six minutes. And that is just extremely fast, extremely unbelievable. When I first made my first edit and I exported my video, after two minutes, I saw a little sign coming on top of my screen saying uh, your render has been, your video has been exported complete uh, and it's completed. I, I didn't really believe it. I went inside Final Cut Pro and I was like, what's going on? It only rendered two seconds of it. I clicked on the actual file and lo and behold, it actually exported everything right there and i had all the footage that i needed without any problem this to me is worth everything so now with the powerful application that i have and with my mac and with everything uh, having all those lower thirds inside having all of those effects inside i can seamlessly record my video go to school on my break, take the footage out of my camera and out of my SD card, put it inside of my computer, edit and do the adjustment that I have to do, export my video, upload it to YouTube, do the editing, add the tags line, write the blog post about it and publish it on a single charge without using multiple application and that is just extremely useful. Now, there are a couple of other noteworthy points that Final Cut Pro has. First of all, I can edit my uh, video fast and easy. Then I can do the color grading. I can edit my video without an audio, without using Adobe Audition or another application. I can edit a 360 video right there inside of the ecosystem. I can use motion plugins. I can use multi webcams. I can use 360 degree VR editing inside of an app. Uh, it has an HDR support and it has an asset management. These are just phenomenal options that and there is more to it that meets the eye. So don't get fool, be fooled by the $299 price that you see right off the bat because I have been using Adobe Premiere for years and I pay almost 30 to 40 bucks a month for the whole suite because if you're trying to edit a video, you can't just buy one application. You need the whole suite because without it, your video is not gonna be as powerful as it should be. So over time, you are saving extreme amount of money. And after a couple of months of using Final Cut Pro, I am extremely satisfied and I'm hitting myself in the head saying, why didn't I go this route from the beginning? So if you are in my position and trying to make the decision whether or not use After Effects or Adobe Premiere, I highly recommend you. If you are a Mac user, there is 
no question and there should be no doubt in your mind that once you go Apple, you have to stay in Apple and you have to use all of their stuff because it just works seamlessly without any problem. As always, see you guys on the next one.